You surprised when you uh, received this this Pace Center award? I was utterly dumbfounded. Yes, really? I thought it was a joke at first. I thought one of my friends was putting me up to this because uh, I've written letters in the past uh, uh, nominating people, and to have something like this happen was just completely out of the blue. And lifetime, it's kind of a scary thing to get a lifetime achievement. Like maybe this is getting towards the end of your lifetime or whatever. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, no, it's it's a very humbling experience knowing the people that um, have received this award in the past, the people that I'm sharing this award with this year too. I'm very much humbled by it, and I mean that sincerely. Now, when I was photographing Bronco games and CU right, games, right. when I don't hear your voice in the stadiums, <laughs> you know, I kind right. of figure I'm in the wrong place. Oh my goodness! Well, we did a program last night. A uh, music goes to war, yeah, and uh, we had a whole bunch of things. We had an older audience, and we had people like. Uh, but Arnold's widow was there, and people that we knew from the university. And this was, was in Boulder, and uh, so yeah, people kept coming to me and talking. Could you say this once again, like incomplete, or here comes Ralphie, and that sort of thing. But it's always kind of funny because uh, I always wanted to be anonymous. I never thought that was a good. Oh, well, how about that? This is probably the camera calling, wondering where you are. You're not going to tell. You're not going to say incomplete. No, I will not. I will not. Or say here comes Ralphie. Ralphie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, still doing the curating for the Glen Miller Archive. It's uh, kind of a special project, one that we began, geez, some 45 years ago, and we never thought it was going to turn into this. It was going to be a small display case in the University Memorial Center, Glen Miller Ballroom. Uh -huh. And uh, so it, uh, that little small display case now has grown into a major archive with uh, not only Glen Miller material, but all the material from the big band era. Mm -hmm. We probably have more Benny Goodman here than they have at Yale, and more R.D. Shaw than they have at Arizona University, all because of people who have been collecting this over the years. And we're kind of at that point where a lot of people are passing on that collected this music. And so it's, it's an important project that we're going through to try to preserve this music that people have loved so much over the years.